G'day guys. Hope everybody's doing well. Thank you for popping in. I wasn't going to video this, but then at the last minute I decided to to do a video. Because <laughs> um, this was supposed to be just a quickie for me to um, to practice on, to do something. But anyway, um, why not? I'll video it. And it, it turned out like I want it to. And... You know we can offer something then great it's really warm in the studio uh, and this is why everything is sort of really runny so it's going to be interesting I've got angel white in here I've got already some resin in my mold here silicon mold and I've got a, a mix here of two tints one is the uh, deep ocean blue and one is a teal so the teal was a little bit on a greener side and I wanted it more blue so and I decided to pop a little bit of gold just the bright gold pigment powder inside my my tint mix here and just give that a stir and immediately this transforms this beautiful color into a really magical just takes a little while to mix when it's like this just plonked on the top but here we go it's getting there I just got to take care and make sure that I mix it I'm really beating beating it in there um, but I will sort of let it sit I've just moved so I don't get this gold particles on on my uh, mold <coughs> Okay, so I'm nearly there. Just want to show you that color now. I don't know if you can see that. Beautiful and metallic. Ooh, so lovely. Okay, so, and I think this one here totally changed the color. Totally changed it from that teal into like a green color, which is <laughs> not what I wanted, but anyway. And I'm going to put some... Should I do gold yet? Wow. Should I? Shouldn't I? Um, yeah. Let's do... No, let's do some... Just hold on a second. Okay. So I, d I decided to put some gold in there. And I just want to do the gold on the outside. Now I am really not sure... I'm going to put some more gold in there. Just going to mix it real quick. Okay. Here we go. This is going to be something different. Got to try and put this right in the middle. I suppose I can always move it around. I'm going to remove this. There's a reason why I'm putting this in there. Just trying to make sure this is in the middle. And I'm just going to do puddle pours um, around I like the effects so hopefully it'll work it works on smaller pieces but I don't know if it's gonna work on a bigger piece we'll see but it saves all the mucking around and you get a, a tidier kind of ring we shall see won't we so we've got the gold we've got the white and I've got to be mindful of alternating my transparency so both of these colors are transparent and the white is uh, an opaque. So we might actually start with the gold. Once I remove that, that's going to pull in. I'm just going to go, I'm going to try and go around. Should have got a bigger cup, shouldn't I? hope this doesn't leak. Ah. Yep, it does. I'll put it in a bigger cup. This is not going to annoy me. I'm not going to like it. Because it's running down the side. What an annoying thing that is. Okay. Not to worry. Here we go. Could kind of work quickly with this. Because you want that to to work properly. Alright, let's go. Ah. There. 
Let's go now with the white. Oh no. That was not planned to go like that. Try not to leak now. <laughs> Oops, stay in the middle. Let's go with, I'm going to get a bigger cup for my green. Got better control, I think. Here we go. Much better. Oh, wow, that's so cool. Really cool and it's moving nicely. Gonna go with my white, put that in the bigger cup as well. I'm going around, I'm not pouring in the middle. Wow, look at that. I'm going through that green. That wasn't planned, but it's working. Love that white. Amazing. I'm going to go with gold now. Gold and white create really lovely effects together. Not too much though, just a little bit. green. I might just do the green right in the middle this time. I'm nearly done with my colours. And I'm going to go in with my white. There's not a lot of white left. It's an interesting technique, you know. Seem to be pulling to one side. That's why it helps to have that cap there, because you can then move it. Wow, look at that colour. Am I in video? I guess I'm it's looking great so far. Now I've got to scoop up. Oh, I've got a little bit of clear left. I didn't even realise. Let's do the clear in the middle. That cap's going to look amazeballs. Wow, look at that. Ooh, something dropped in there. Gosh, get out. Alright. Now I'm going to scoop up whatever I have left here. Which is not a lot. More of the green, and I think I want to finish off with my white. Sorry, meet with my gold. All up, there's about 350 milliliters <coughs> of. Um, resin in here. Gold was okay. White. I'm just letting it move and it's doing some really cool stuff in there. I love that depth there. These, I find that if I leave the resin in them, because this is paper, um, you can use them again. The resin just makes them nice and kind of seals them in there. Right, let's go with the white. Actually, I might just go in with the... No, I'll go in with my green. Not a lot left. 
Oh, that door slammed again. There we go, look at that. Even that cap, I could leave it in there, it looks so great. Um, a white. It's pulling that way, I know. Oh, yeah, yeah. Okay. And my gold last, which is not a lot of it, but here we go. That's it. Uh, now I reckon I'm going to use the heat gun for a little while. Should a hair dryer probably would have been better. I just want to blast all that off there. And you can see some unmixed. Wow, look at that. Oh, it looks so great. That looks so great right there but it's gotta go sorry i to pull you out now that is so cool so cool wow look at what i've made that is so awesome something different We use the same I want to do something a little bit tricky make sure it's clean And then I'm going to be real quick here, real quick, and go like that. Okay. Wow, that is really cool. And I managed to add some unmixed resin here. So all right, what we'll do is we're just going to mix it on the board, on that cap now. That'll work because it's powder pigment. And now I'm going to pull it out, hopefully. Or push it out rather. Like I said, real quick. I'll get a different one. I'll get a bigger one. Here we go. Get it out. There we go. Woo! I'm back in now. Just wait. How interesting. This is really cool. I like how that pulled in. I uh, don't know what happened there. I'm going to get the... I wonder what it's like underneath. 
but I do want to bring something up to the edges so I'm not sure now if I need to mix up some more resin or and put some more color around the edges or just play with this some more I love freestyle. There we go, it's nice like that. Okay, so I've decided to do the outside of it, the edges, in black. This is black crushed glass. So, <laughs> fingers crossed, I hope I don't dip it in here, that will not be good. So I'm just going to go around and just, uh, the easiest way for me to do this is with this, cup because it's so flexible and I just go sort of against the, the edge a little bit and go very slowly and uh, hopefully evenly that's the plan anyway because sometimes these little buggers they decide to drop and then you get a big big lump and uh, that's not good that's why I'm doing this squeezy action and so this is going to take a little while for me to do, so I'll be back when it's all done. Okay, so that's looking much better, I think. The thing, when I start doing something, I have this idea, and then it somehow changes into something else. And I like that, because I like to, you know, follow it follow the, the the actual piece and um, let it let it guide me use me as an instrument all right so that's sort of flattened down a little bit I will use a little bit more some of the areas here I've lost and because I'm using my left hand, my squeezy action is not very good, so I'm tapping it. It actually works pretty good. Okay, so I got rudely interrupted by a phone call, and this lady asked me, um, said to me that she was returning my call. And uh, I looked through my phone, and I said, I didn't call you. <laughs> I don't even know you. So, yeah. Phone companies do weird things sometimes. It was, it was so random. But anyway, she was really, really nice. Ah, anyway, so great. I want... The, wow, the, if you could only see what I'm seeing here. Like, I know, maybe, you know, I don't know what it looks like up there to you. But the depth and the, you know, the, the overlapping and all kinds of effects that are happening then here as well. And then this this gold, which looks pretty bare, I'm going to put some black in there. But it it itself looks like it's sunken right in, which it has. But it just looks like there's a hole in there from from my sort of view up here. But I will put a little bit in there and I'll try and put it right in the middle because I just now just trying to get it sort of right in the middle. And I want it to sort of sink. I don't want too much of it, just a little bit, and then tap it down a little bit because I want that to be kind of flat. I'm standing over it because I want to make sure that I am in the middle. If I could. We're going to get a storm. I can hear it brewing. And Millie is outside saying, please let me in, Mommy, it's scary out here. Alright, so that is much better already. I love stuff like this. And I don't love you because you're a hair. And you're not supposed to be in there. Okay.
Okay, guys and girls, we're back. I'm sorry I didn't show you how I did this, but you kind of see. It's only because that night is like a few nights, few days after I did this. Did this. Um, I went to to try and you know see if it's um, workable, but it was still very, very loose. And I think it's because it was such a hot, hot sort of day, and the, the studio was hot. Um, and the resin set, it was set, but it was just so, so loose and sort of stretchy and I didn't want to touch it. So I left it for the morning and then in the morning I had to run around like a chicken with a head chopped off to try and um, mold it before it completely sort of set. So, my goodness, what have I done here? Something's happened. Oh no, please don't tell me. See, that happens. I'll have to fix that. A bit of water will sort that out. Because that's got paper on it. Silly, silly, silly. Wow, but wait till you see the underneath. It looks really great. There's tape everywhere. All right. Get rid of that tape. What do you reckon? I love it. I love it. Look at the bottom. How amazing is that? Oh, I've got a bit of... Oh, that's just paper. Wow, it is so cool. I did it this way because I really love the bottom of it. It is so beautifully golden, but very subtle with that white. And it's still a little bit soft. I don't know why, so I'm going to sort of keep an eye on it but it's not perfectly symmetrical it's only because I sort of rushed and hurried around but I don't mind these things so you, see, you can still move it very interesting but it'll set up 100% and then it'll be fine um, but uh, I'm very happy with it it's so dreamy and I'll bring you a little bit closer Look at that, look outside in the, in the sun. <laughs> and I love that I have some see, see through things here. It's quite transparent in some areas, but not everywhere. Ooh. I love it. I absolutely love this one. Anyway, let me know what you think.